Hello, my name is Keith Deeney from Madras. Um, welcome to this short video clip regarding the BIM exchange from Inventor through to Revit. So here we have a, uh, just a typical example of um, a construction component within Inventor. For the example we're working with here, it's just going to be a this is a, a light fitting um, that sits into a, a ceiling grid. We would um, go through the process of obviously creating the component within Inventor. Once we had that, we would then um, use the the BIM Exchange system. Under Environments here, we've got BIM Exchange. As part of the BIM Exchange process, uh, you, you tend to, to do several things. Um, quite often you tend to um, shrink wrap or um, simplify it by um, filling holes and, and, and so on um, basically to, to simplify the geometry and make it a, a, a smaller part as you're taking it out as the ADSK. You would also go through the process of altering the, um, the UCS. Um, basically really this just coordinates it then once it comes into Revit uh, and as your ADSK um, family that you're creating within Revit, so it just enables you to to create a, your um, sort of bench point that you're going to bring it in as as your part within your Revit family. So I've already identified the um, the axes that I'm going to be using within this component. Um, you, you tend to go about that by by using the origin point, measuring off that to wherever it is that you want your component to sit. Um, so I'm just going to input those details in. Once you've then got your UCS, your new UCS set up, we've got uh, export building components here. And all we want to really make sure is that, um, that that's basing itself around my, my UCS that I've created. Under um, the model properties here, uh, the, this is the, the model properties that's been um, selected automatically for me, um, dependent on the component type that I'm using. You've got a whole list of different component types that you can utilize. Um, for this, I'm just sourcing lighting, lighting fixtures, which is obviously what, what this component type is. I'm also putting in here a, um, a manufacturer and a, a model or, or part type um, to enable me to bring that detail into my, my family as I, as I take it through. Once I'm, I'm happy with my component, my UCS and everything that I put into this section, I can just check my design. This will give me a box to um, really just, the main thing I'm checking at this point is, is the complexity of the, the object itself um, to make sure that it's, it's not going to be too heavy once I bring it in as my, my ADSK uh, within my Revit family. So all of that's ticked and saying OK. So apply any changes that I've made and click OK on that. Save it out as my as my ADSK part, so whatever I'm going to be, be calling it. So I'm just going to put that for now and to save. Whilst that's just saving out, um, I would then open my my Revit. So down here I've just got Revit open. So this is a, just a typical Revit project, architectural project that might the consultant might be using um, our part that we're creating as our ADSK that we, we've created. So if the architect or, or um, MEP or, or structural consultants want to then bring my part in that, that I've created as my ADSK, I would then go to Component and be able to place my component in here. Be able to place my component. So I've got uh, my, my component come in there. Um, I can also load it as well. So if I just go to Edit Type, I can see my, my details come through there. So I've got my model and manufacturer details that I've, I've put in there. Um, and also all the other um, model properties that, that we saw relating to the, the, the type that I was, I was bringing across as the ADSK. So click OK there. Because of the way that I've created it, um, because I've created it as a 
a, a light fitting. Um, it's already looking for the, the ceiling grid lines that I'm looking at here as part of my um, ceiling plan in my, my model that I'm looking at. So it just means it's going to pick up that ceiling grid without me necessarily having to worry about uh, what I'm looking at or trying to position it in any way. I can then also um, go into the, the edit the family here. So if I just go to edit family, I can look in a bit more detail about what I've actually got here. So I've applied a light fitting here. Um, so this light source really just dictates the, the, the light cone that I've got. Obviously I could set it up to, to whatever shape I like. So I've just set up the shape to and the distribution to, to suit the, the item that I brought in as my ADSK. And then just altered it to um, to suit the, the rectangle shape that I've created here. If I click on my, my object. I can see here that I've, all I've done is just pulled the, the details through from the, the model and manufacturer. So that, that can then be part of that family. You can also go through the process of um, other things. Um, for example, you could change the, the project units. I've set these up to um, be sort of common millimetres, um, really just to suit an architectural project. Um, you could set those up to, to whatever you want them to be. And as part of the, uh, the object as well, I mean, you could set up um, things like the visibility settings. Again, I've, I've ticked all three of these for a minute, but um, if you wanted certain details to be at certain levels within the architectural project that you're bringing it into, say you only wanted it to show up medium or fine, you have to obviously untick course at that point. So once you'd set up your, your object um, and you knew it was orientated as you wanted it, um, obviously all I've done on my is just set it up so that I've got my coordinating points within my grid there and I've got my, my light source set up. So then once it's in my in my project here I can see that obviously it sits within my grid as I say. If I just go to a, a 3D model here I can just see it sitting in my in my grid lines there on my ceiling and I can see the, the, the light source that I've created there. If I change the, um, the graphic style that I've got here just to say it's realistic for a minute then I can see in a bit more detail about what I've actually created there. I can also um, go into even more detail with this part of the family I could alter the, um, the finish type on the, the actual light itself, um, alter that to um, get you know, a high luminance um, glass for example and then that would actually create an, a, a final light fitting that I could um, could then render up within my project. Also as part of the BIM exchange, um, the file of the family that I've created here, um, the, the details that I've put into that will allow me to schedule off some of those details. So if I just go to schedule here, just briefly show that. Go down to uh, light fixtures, which is what we've we've got here. And I know that the details that I alter to to show my new model um, and manufacturer. Um, I could also put other things in here, say the, the type, for example, which would obviously be the the name of the 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 item as it's come through the exchange or the, the family type. Um, I might also want to put say wattage or um, luminous intensity since that's obviously a, a, a light we're looking at here. Um, and you might also want to put cost value or something like that say to this. Once you've got your details and your, sh your schedule there, this is my, my schedule here so I can see that obviously I've got my model manufacturer and the four lights that I've just in, in, input into my ceiling grid there. And the um, and the items that I've uh, I, I've added to that, and I, I could then obviously um, look in, in more detail at sort of the the name that I'm, I'm creating or the, the type that I'm creating there. Okay, so I hope that you found that useful, and uh, thanks for listening.